Have you ever wondered why vaping, especially among young people, is on the rise? It's a question that's been bothering parents, teachers and health experts alike. Today, we delve into the statistics and the government's response to this growing trend. According to the Action on Smoking and Health charity, an alarming increase is evident. The percentage of 11 to 17 year olds who vape regularly or occasionally has almost doubled from 4.1% in 2020 to 7.6% now. In response to this trend, the government has announced plans to ban disposable vapes. This move aims to tackle the rising number of young people taking up vaping. But why disposable vapes you may ask? The government has identified these, often sold in smaller, more colorful packaging than refillable ones as a key driver behind the alarming rise in youth vaping. This ban is not the first of its kind. Last year saw an announcement of a ban on the sale of cigarettes to anyone born on or after the 1st of January 2009. This was part of an attempt to create a smoke-free generation. Current legislation also prohibits the sale of any vape to anyone under 18. The government's plan doesn't stop at banning disposable vapes. Other measures include preventing vapes from being marketed at children and targeting underage sales. For instance, refillable vapes may soon be required to be produced in plainer, less appealing packaging and displayed out of sight of children in shops. The government is also set to introduce additional fines for any shops in England and Wales caught selling vapes illegally to children. And it's not just vapes that are in the spotlight. Vaping alternatives like nicotine pouches, which are currently legally sold to under-18s, will also be banned for children. While the long-term risks of vaping are not yet fully known, health leaders are keen to ensure that these new measures do not make it harder for adult smokers to switch to vaping as an alternative. This is where the consultation over how far to go with restrictions on flavors and displays in shops becomes crucial. According to a public consultation, Almost 70% of respondents supported a ban on disposable vapes. The Scottish and Welsh governments have also expressed their intention to introduce bans, either through legislation in their own parliaments or by supporting the UK government's measures. These actions indicate a strong commitment to tackling the rising trend of vaping among young people. The road ahead may be challenging, but the goal is clear to create a healthier, smoke-free generation. And it's not just about the government's efforts, it's about society as a whole taking responsibility and making a concerted effort to address this issue head-on.